Hello, it's Celeste again. Today I'm going to give you a little mini house tour and show you the hospital room, hospital room that we set up for Paul when he first became ill. And he's still in his hospital room now. He's almost six months into his post stem cell transplant recovery, but he's still quite exhausted and really needs to conserve his energy. And there's a safety reason we have him in this room because he did have a fall back in March when he was undergoing chemo. And this is before the stem cell transplant. He was going to the bathroom and he got up and he was having issues with orthostatic hypotension. And he ended up falling halfway down the stairs and I'll kind of show you where that happened. Just, uh, you know, a little, something to keep in mind. This did happen before the transplant. This was from chemo, but safety is always a concern when you have somebody in a weakened state. I'm going to give you a little tour and show you where he is staying temporarily, and I hope he will be able to come back into our room again at some point. This is our bedroom, and you'll notice that there's kind of this lumpy con contraption on Paul's side of the bed. And this is one of those side sleeper arrangements. And Paul was having trouble sleeping on his side. And I got him this as a Christmas present, but I got it early before we knew that he was sick. And I think that maybe the side sleeping problem was because the, he had his cancer and it was causing him discomfort, but we didn't know what it was. Um, this is our room air sanitizer, which I usually have running, but it makes so much noise when uh, when I'm trying to do a video. Another view outside. And then that's our, our combination office slash walk-in closet. And I'll give you a view from this angle, dresser. And this is the chair I usually sit on when I do my videos. We do have a nice armchair on order but everything got held up with COVID. So currently that's, that's what I use when I make my videos. Going down the hall, we have our bathroom on the right. This is my grandson's room. We won't go in there. And this is, this was my son Robert's room. And of course he lives in Philadelphia now. So this was the room though that Paul was staying in. He had started staying in this room because he would get up a lot during the night and he didn't want to wake me. Oh, that's my grandson's puppy. We just threw him in here. <laughs> um, Paul was not cuddling with that puppy at night, I promise. Oh, and this is my harp. This is my baby harp and it's a dusty. And uh, yeah, so this is sort of a combination and sorry about that mess there. That's my sewing pile, some costumes I was working on, but everything stopped when Paul got cancer. So what happened in this room, he was sleeping here and he got up to go to the bathroom and the thing with orthostatic hypotension, it doesn't hit you right away. So he walked over here, became very dizzy, passed out, and then he fell down the stairs here. He fell, thankfully we have that landing, but he bumped his head on that newel post and it was pretty bad. He had a bad cut and he had to have a CAT scan and some stitches. So that's kind of what happened there. He was heading obviously to the bathroom. So now I'll take you downstairs and show you his hospital room. So this is the room we call the parlor. And um, normally this was sort of a formal parlor and music room, but we converted this into a hospital room for Paul when he came home. One of the first things we did was to put this curtain in the doorway. Since this room doesn't have a regular door, we wanted to put in something that would give Paul some privacy. So we had this made and we happened to have these tie backs in the basement. I think we were going to use them years ago and never did, but it came in really handy. And the drapery shop gave us this nice uh, tassel tie back so that when Paul doesn't need the curtain drawn, he can pull it back. Anyway, so this is the room, this is the parlor. Um, and we did get a new bed for Paul. 
and this is one that adjusts and right now he has it with the knees up high uh, and his head elevated because he's been doing a lot of resting with his feet up lately he has some edema in his feet and this little this is not actually an ottoman this is a little supply drawer thing and this is tinier than we thought it would be but Paul's currently using it as an ottoman we have one on order but it's not going to be in for a week or two so he uses this to put his feet up when he's working and then this is his home office setup now that he's returned to work we have this table in a different room and he set up everything for work and his computer and he made the uh, back all nice and tidy he likes doing stuff like that um, and we used to have a couch over here and we gave that to my daughter so she has that and we just have this other couch here now and eventually when Paul moves back upstairs we will either get a new couch or some chairs and that is my harp over there I'll just give you a quick peek I've been keeping the dust cover on I haven't been playing it as much because obviously Paul is in here but that's kind of what my harp looks like and hopefully I'll be back to playing that harp again. And then we're just using this table. This has been in our parlor forever. And Paul just has all his stuff on it. So that's kind of his room. Oh, and one more thing. This is a really important element of Paul's room. This is a room heater. And the nice part about it is it has a um, remote so he can adjust it when he's in bed. Oh, and also to his his bed comes his bed comes with a remote but this has been really important because Paul has lost so much weight and he lost his hair and he gets cold very easily so he turns this on it's like just standing here I feel the warmth it's really nice and then this is a little chest of drawers on wheels that we got so Paul could put his clothes in here and he just keeps the clothes he typically wears it's not his entire wardrobe obviously but it's nice to have it on wheels because then he can move it around as needed for example it used to be over there where the desk is we used to have all his hospital supplies when he was getting home IV therapy but once that was all ended we just moved it over here out of the way so that he could set up his home office that is Paul's hospital room slash home office we also changed things in the bathroom downstairs. So this is Paul's room with the curtain drawn. And this is our half bath on the first floor. And it's pretty much the same as it was. It's a, you know, just a small little bathroom. But what we did, we had a, this little shelf. This is like an Amish shelf. And we used to have it in our kitchen till we remodeled and we didn't know what to do with it, but Paul really needed a place for his things. So we made three changes in here. First of all, we had an electrician come in and put a new outlet back there because originally we only had that one. And that's not really convenient because Paul, after his transplant, needed to use a flosser, a water flosser rather than regular floss because he had to be careful not to get, um, you know, injure his mouth with regular floss because not only would he potentially bleed too much because of low platelets after the transplant but also it's an avenue for infection so we had a carpenter come in and install the little shelf there and then i got these little baskets and these actually slide out and these are just cheap little plastic baskets from amazon i will link them below but anyway, so this works out really nicely because then Paul just has to walk the foyer to get to this bathroom. Oh, and by the way, there's Leo. That's our dog having a relaxing morning. I just wanted to show you what came today. We had a delivery of this footstool, and this is for Paul to rest his feet on while he has edema in his legs. So this is um, hopefully gonna be better than that little thing he had rigged up before. And uh, it's adjustable and it has brakes on the wheels. We also got these little plastic, I don't even know what you call them, but they can go under the wheels to prevent 
further slippage so it'll be very secure and these are two inch noogies whatever they're called cups, cups. <laughs> and i will link them below that's the end of my mini home tour i hope i gave you some ideas of what you can do to set up a home hospital room and until next time i will talk to you later bye